when they called your name out, was that kind of a shock? Um, a little bit, yeah. Uh, I don't feel like I performed to the highest of my ability. I still feel like I did well, ran good routes, and caught most of the balls thrown to me. So, I mean, I was, I knew there would be a chance maybe that I'd get it, but yeah, happy that it happened. Did it help, Oliver, that you were here last year and kind of, it was, you know, there's nerves that get involved with, with something like this with so many people. Did, were you more relaxed this year? Yeah. Knowing how the schedule worked from last year, it, it helped me a lot. I knew what to expect. I knew there would be a lot of good competition, so I was able to prepare mentally. Just from being here last year, I knew it was gonna high energy, high level competition, and uh, just just knowing what happened last year that I was able to focus, or focus and be more calm this year. How, how did your test last year compare to what you tested this year? Um. My 40 pro agility vertical all went up. My power ball was about the same. Uh, I, I still feel like I could do it on a little bit better. Just it was so cold in the Tough beginning. Tough conditions. Yeah. Went straight from doing a few stretches for about 10 minutes to running the 40 and pro agility. There's still still good times. Uh, my my score improved about. 15 points, so it was good overall. Recruiting, how, how are things going for you? I mean, yet you, you, well, first before we hit that, I mean, you went to the Don Beebe camp and, and got the MVP there as mm -hmm. well. Um, you know, what was that like? What was that experience like? Oh, uh, the Don Beebe camp was good. Uh, we, you got to do a whole wide variety of the tests like they do with the combine. And uh, I, I obviously, I performed well at that, doing that, and uh, that gave me confidence coming into this camp. And then uh, I, I think the scores will help get more college interest because uh, I did well on them, and they'll know that I can do that for sure now. And um, overall, I have four offers, uh, Eastern, Central, Western Michigan, and UNI, Northern Iowa. Uh, and then I'm in contact with Iowa, Iowa State, Minnesota, Kansas State. Um, I have to go to the camps this summer just so they can, you know, see what I look like running routes and stuff. <laughs> so the schools you mentioned are going to camp at all of those schools? Mm -hmm. Is that really the the last hurdle, I guess, for you? Is to just show, to let the coaches see you in camp with, you I'm, know? I'm not for sure. I know uh, I've gone to a few other camps from last year, but I guess how I've improved and see if I'm any faster or bigger. So uh, that, and then I think I'll get still get interest from the season ahead if I do well. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think the camps are a big, big factor. They're important for recruiting and getting offers in, in the summer. You, you were at Iowa. You've been at Iowa a few times since the end of last season. Um, just kind of how are things going with them in terms of what you're hearing? I imagine Coach Reese Morgan's the one you're in contact with the most. Yeah, yeah Reese Morgan and uh, LeVar Woods come to my school a lot. Um, I'll, I'll email them back and forth, visit them on spring games, uh, went to some games in the fall as well. Uh, it sounds like I sit pretty well with them. They just want to see me at the at their camp this summer. Uh, so I think if I do well, I don't know, maybe get an offer. They tell you to be patient? Is that yeah, kind of the... They, they do tell me to be patient. I've been there quite a, quite a few times. Is it hard to be patient? Or, or yeah, do you just I, try to focus just, on what you can control? I, I, I guess when they say to be patient, I just... I'm not for sure where I'm at with them because uh, I know that they've they've offered other kids, but you know I'm confident in my abilities. Uh, it is hard to be patient, but I trust them and that they know what they're doing. They're a D1 program. They got a lot of guys who've been there for a long time. So, is that ultimately where you would like to go, being a kid from Iowa City, or I mean, how do you look at it? Uh, playing at Iowa, that'd be that'd be really really cool. Uh, I mean, I'd want to see all my options in the end, all the opportunities I have to make the right decision, but Iowa is definitely, they would have an edge just because I grew up with, with Iowa City right there watching them. All my friends are fans of Iowa and gone to the game since I was a little kid, so yeah. Are you going to play baseball this summer? Yep. So does that, is it hard to mix the camp thing in with the baseball thing? Yeah. Baseball will do two or three double headers during the week. 
and then that will tire you out. Tire you out. You don't yeah. want to. You don't really want to do anything right. leading up to the game, but you kind of have to if you want to get some work in because the camp's usually on the weekend. So that is hard to be fresh for camp sometimes, but uh, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty used to it by now. I've done it for so long, but uh, yeah, I, I'm planning on playing baseball in the summer.